DraftSight was designed to make you feel right at home. Its familiar interface lets you keep working the way you always have. In the upper left, you'll find the option to switch between different workspaces. In addition to the ribbon interface, you can select the classic workspace, which replaces the ribbon with menus and toolbars. You'll also feel right at home with the layout tabs at the bottom of the drawing. As in other CAD systems, the layouts help you to configure your sheets with multiple viewports in different scales. If you have learned AutoCAD and know some commands by name, you can simply enter them with the keyboard. Even when the name is different, an alias defined in DraftSight will automatically call the corresponding command. All the handy tools that help you design faster are built in, including entity snaps, tracking, and quick input next to the cursor. The pallets can stay docked at the side or can be configured to hide automatically to save space. For example, this is the properties palette. With a right click in the ribbon, you can select the palettes you would like to activate. This includes, for example, the external references and drawing resources palettes. In addition, you can move each palette to the other side or resize it as needed. In the Layers Manager, you can see which layers are on or off, or change the line weight among other settings. Here you'll also find the features for layer groups and layer states. This one we created previously. DraftSight goes even further with the TB Layer feature, which you can find in the status bar. This tool enables you to automatically assign a layer per entity type. For instance, you can have all dimensions go to a specific layer. It is also worth mentioning that DraftSight supports the customizations you may have previously made in AutoCAD, such as custom menus, LISP, and visual LISP routines, or drawing templates, because DraftSight uses the same DWT format for templates. Would you like to change the color of the graphic environment to one of the darker ones? In DraftSight, you can switch the light gray UI style to the dark mode. Just be aware that the program needs to restart to apply the changes.